All right, so this is a painting I did a while back and it started with this yellow background and I let it dry and then I did these colors here and then I let them dry and it had this whole Easter feel and I, I wanted it to not be Eastery, so I put the black on there and I hated the black. And so this kind of sat down here underneath where I've been painting and I got a bunch of these little spittles like I think it was one of those where you're like going like this with your brush and it just so I instead of wasting a canvas re right I'm gonna do something with this one cuz why not also you might notice I got a little bit different setup I got a, a ladder and I created a little thing here Right, I created a thing because I just wanted a different place. Actually, I got the ladder a while back for another purpose completely. And this just kind of came to me today. And I like it. So, we're going to try it. And it's kind of fun because really if I really work at it I could start to work these colors in with the old colors that are there <clears throat> I mean it's all oil so it's gonna take a little grunt work I'm sure but if I put a little thinner on this brush I could but I kind of just like the way it washes it out so we're just gonna play with it see what happens let's see it actually and it was sitting this way this was this way but it is obviously not <laughs> and the lamps talking all weird and stuff And you know, I just generally have a feeling something like this is just going to get nastier and nastier and I'm going to hate it more and more. So you may see this again. This may be a reoccurring theme with this specific canvas.
If any of you are watching this and are painters yourself that do oils, have you uh, have you varnished? And if so, <clears throat> did you do the spray on varnish? Did you do the where you pour it on and then <laughs> smooth it around? And how long did you wait? Because I was going to varnish and then I went and looked it up and it looks like the average is about six months. And I was like, wow, 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 wow. And I was curious, what do you guys do? Guys, gals, what do you gals, guys, gals do? I may not even let this sit this way. I may put it back up the way that it was sitting. Oh, play around with it, right? It's kind of fun. This is this is the fun part, right? You screwed something up. Hey, let's try something different. Just keep going. You know, I've seen those painters that have like. 20, 30, 40 layers of stuff. It took them like six months to paint the painting because they have to let it dry, you know, because when you work with oil, it's like you're always waiting for something to dry. <clears throat> I started doing some stuff with acrylic. I'm not really sure if I like it or not. The colors just seem flat. And, you know, maybe it's just the paint that I'm getting. So, it's not Master's Touch. I just got some there right at Walmart. I've been wanting to try it, and I saw some people doing some stuff with uh, the watercolor paper. And... <clears throat> oh, jeez. Come here. The watercolor paper and acrylic paint. And I just thought I'd try it, but I'm not sure if I like it. It just... Do you do acrylic? Have you done acrylic painting? You're not just watching this because I do oil, right? What do you think of acrylic? I also got some watercolors. I haven't tried those yet. I'm still a little intimidated by the watercolors, to be completely honest with you. thing with watercolors is I see people doing things with watercolors that I did not think was something you could do with watercolors. 
always kind of think of those washed out looking things and these people are doing stuff where it's like very detailed I saw this one it was uh it's kind of like like a naval ship in a shipyard like in a dry dock it was really cool and, like the lines were really crisp but then it had that definite washed outness of, of watercolor but it had these just really really distinct lines it was really impressive you know I think of watercolors is what I did when I was a kid there are some masters of that craft. Oh, I like that. I really like the red. Red is my favorite. In colors like to wear or like I like blue blue is my blue is my jam but there's just something about painting with that red it's such a beautiful right off that. There's some paintings I've done where like the yellow just pops. It's like in your face pops. That's a good one too. Yellow's yellow kind of yellow's yellow. Yellow and black are a great contrast.
to you this is called not not Easter if you've made it this far go ahead and hit the like and subscribe I would really appreciate it and go out there and be the change you'd like to see in the world and have a fantastic day <laughs>